After a three-year assignment as production manager at our Oregon ceiling tile plant, I took a new assignment as a continuous improvement engineer supporting the research and development team at our corporate center in Lancaster, Pennsylvania. Now, my goal was to provide support and give the team ways of thinking that might improve the cycle time from new idea to the, to the commercialization of a new product for our customers. First thing I did was I took a walk through the processes that led up to commercialization of products from the innovation R&D point of view. What I noticed was our highly skilled and clever scientists, engineers, and technicians would work on things independently of each other, trying to figure out if they could come up with new product ideas or breakthroughs before sharing it with the greater organization. Because of this, collaboration was minimal, and it seemed like things took longer than they needed to. The other thing I noticed was our pilot plant, which was a support system for testing and trialing new product ideas and materials, seemed to be cluttered and disorganized. So now I knew there were things I could do to help, and I presented my ideas to the director of R&D, who told me, Adam, you can't schedule invention. To which I replied, maybe you can't schedule it, but you can probably simplify the processes leading up to it. Now, on my own, I had to get sponsorship for some ideas that I wanted to implement. Luckily, there was a manager in the group that had great vision and was frustrated by the amount of time it took to get things done and the lack of really good collaborative processes. So, with his support and help, we started organizing the pilot plant with a series of 5S Kaizen events. And what that did was it reduced the time and effort it took to get ideas tested and verified. Now, along with that, I knew that collaboration between the scientists and engineers and technicians had to be improved. So our recommendation then was to create a weekly huddle. The idea was that those scientists, technicians, and engineers could share what they were working on, issues they were running up against, and where they might need help. Now, in the early days of those huddles, not that much request for help, if any, ever came out. But what we did have was a sharing of information, which allowed the managers and the director of R&D more visibility for what was going on for each of their people doing this critical breakthrough work. Now, after a few months, the huddle itself was formalized and not a lot of collaboration was going on directly until one day in the huddle, one of the scientists was talking about something that he was working on that was kind of giving him some difficulty. After hearing about that, another scientist in the group spoke up and said, hey, I was working on something very similar three years ago, and I think my analysis and data could help you. Let's set up some time to talk about that. At that moment, the light bulb went on for many in the room, and we realized here was the opportunity. Just by exposing what we were working on and what we were up against, it would allow others to be able to weigh in and help. Now, over the years, that huddle process improved greatly. It became more focused and more purposeful, and more people would reach out for help. And the pilot plant became so well organized and owned that eventually the time to market was almost cut in half and the product portfolio almost doubled. I hope this story provided you with some inspiration to revisit your own processes. I have a lot more I'd like to share. Head over to pi-partners.com to learn how I can help. And check back from time to time for more Kaizen stories.